The city and county have poured millions of dollars into efforts like affordable housing and mental health services to help with the ongoing homeless crisis. And tonight we're taking a closer look at one of those critical areas. KCRA 3 investigates went out with the county's outreach teams who offer mental health services to people living in encampments. Lizay Mitri joins us now. So how did it go and were people interested when they were offered these services? Mm. Right. We went out on two different days and followed the county's homeless engagement and response team heart for short. So what we saw, we saw one person who was ready right then and there to find out what services might be best for him. Most people though said not yet or next time. That's something we talk to mental health counselors about. And does it usually take many times to talk to someone before they're willing to accept services? It could be a mixed bag. You know, there could be some folks that they've been experiencing homelessness for many years and they're just, you know, ready to take that step right now. Sometimes, they, you know, they, there's, you know, they've been through so much trauma. They've been, some, they've been through so many broken promises uh, that maybe they have to rebuild that trust to engage with somebody new. That's why Justin Hernandez says consistency is key. He is one of the 22 people on the county's heart outreach team who routinely visits homeless encampments to see if people want to do a mental health assessment. If they do, then they can be referred to the service that would best help them, like a treatment for substance abuse, for example. But how many people are actually agreeing to do that assessment and how many then follow through to get the treatment that's recommended? We'll break down what the numbers show in our investigation investigation coming up on KCRA 3 News at 10. You know, it's really important to track how all this is working for so many reasons. Obviously, people need these programs. We know that these services are vital. Also, it's really expensive. They spend a lot of money on this. How much money exactly has been spent on all this? Yeah, when we look just at the starting salaries for the staffers on this team that we were talking about or uh, the supplies that they're using, like uh, water, first aid kits they bring to these encampments, mm. it comes out, out to about two point seven million dollars a year. Yeah, it's interesting that a lot of people are wanting just to take a pass now and because they don't feel like they're being compelled to do so. So right. all right, thanks Lizay.